Little baby wanna know where to be at Drop the low and I told him he meet up Yo, welcome back to Hot Thoughts TV. Pico checking in again with another news update. So, a Chicago mother and her 14-year-old son are celebrating today as all charges have been dropped. As recently, they were actually both charged with murder after an incident that took place at a fast food restaurant in Chicago. So, the 35-year-old mother was in line waiting on her food when she actually got into an altercation with a 32-year-old male. Things got a little heated and he began to put his hands on her. During the argument, she texted her 14-year-old son. He came in with that brang thing thing and as soon as he saw that guy reach for his mama, he, he lifted it up and began to aim and let that bitch bang. Here's a clip so you can see what happened. Oh, hey, 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 hey. Get your food, man. Get your food. If you say one more thing, I'm gonna knock you out. Oh my grandma, say one more thing, I'm gonna knock you out. Oh, say one more thing, I'm gonna knock you out. They were both charged with first degree murder. They both ended up turning themselves in. However, the mother was actually a license to carry. Um, all the charges were dropped. In my honest opinion, what it looked like to me is a nigga came for a burger and left with some wings. It's unfortunate he had no business putting his hands on that woman. He should have kept his hands to himself. I believe justice was served. The charges should have been dropped. You play stupid games, you get stupid prizes. And that nigga got what he got, and that's what it is. You know, unfortunately, it results in a nigga losing his life. But as people, we gotta learn that, hey, you gotta keep your hands to yourself. The golden rule is treat others how you wanna be treated. Look, and, and don't touch nobody. Keep all your hands to yourself. Don't touch nobody unless you wanna get touched back. Shout out to that young man for defending his mother's life. Uh, again, you know, I'm not cheering that another black man lost his life, but there's repercussions to every action. And I feel like regardless of however he, however it got as heated as it did, I feel like he should have done a better job of controlling his temper, especially to the point of threatening a woman that I'm going to knock you out. So he got, not, he, he, he got what he got. And that's what it is. I don't feel no way for him. I don't feel sorry for him. I feel sorry for the family. You know, the family gonna grieve hardest. But especially when you look at the footage, like, hey, it is what it is. And that's just how it, how it unfolds. I'll keep y'all in the loop as more updates unfold. In the meantime, make sure you like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Pico signing out.